gonna take, take my throne. My throne. They couldn't build, build their own. They they can't believe, believe my Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this series, we're going to be going over Neptune in the houses, okay? Neptune in the houses. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about the first house. So having Neptune in your first house. And you guys know I have to remind you, if you enjoyed the music in the beginning of this video, that's my new single, Can't Take the Throne, definitely check it out here on YouTube. All you have to do is type my name, Sam Dolphin, and it'll definitely pop out. You can also check it out on Spotify and Apple Music. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok. <laughs> Definitely follow me there. And finally, if you're interested in a reading, okay, I do astral readings that includes tarot as well. Definitely book a reading with me at samastroreadings at gmail.com. That is the email to book a reading with me. And if you email me, we can go forward with that. Going back into Neptune in the first house, okay? Neptune in the first house. So the first thing I can say about Neptune in the first house is that these people have very sensitive bodies, okay? Very sensitive bodies, okay? First house deals with your physical body, okay? Um, and when we talk about Neptune, Neptune is the energy of openness. You know, anything goes, anything blends. It's everything and anything. There's very little discrimination. So when we're talking about the first house, our physical body, this is going to reflect there, okay? Your body, your skin, very sensitive. These are the type of people um, who can tan real easily. These are the type of people who can break out in hives real easily. Um, if you hit them, you know, in the arm, they can bruise easily. Very sensitive skin because, again, Neptune is the energy of openness, it absorbs everything it comes in contact to. It, it, it's intuitive, it's sensitive, it's open. So your physical body is going to reflect that openness, that energy, and that results in your physical body being very sensitive, okay? Very sensitive, taking on a lot of people's energies, but on a physical level, okay? So like I said, these are people who easily bruise, um, can get rashes easily, um, skin allergic reactions, um, you know, maybe can tan easily, whatever is, um, whatever your physical body is getting into contact to, um, it, it's very sensitive and you'll see the bruises or you'll see, um, the results, you know, in your physical body and your skin and what we see. So it definitely manifests a very sensitive physical body. But another thing is that the first house deals with our identity, what we identify with, how we identify ourselves. So Neptune being this planet of everything goes and everything's accepted and we're just a melting pot, there kind of is no identity here, okay? When Neptune here is in the first house, um, people, don't have really a strong identity. They can kind of melt into different people's energies and people's personalities. So this is a person that can kind of be like a chameleon. They can like um, act like whatever is needed for the moment. So if they're hanging out with a certain type of group of people, they will identify with them and act like them. You know, if they're even talking to a person they'll identify with them by soaking into their energy, identifying with their energy, acting like them, feeling their emotions. So it's hard for them to identify themselves because so much of their identity is their ability to identify with others. <laughs> that is their identity, they're the chameleon. But at one point with Neptune in the first house, it's like, who are you, okay, you know? Um, and a lot of this has to do with because they're very sensitive and emotional, so they're feeling other people's energies. But again, Neptune, the first house people, who are you? How do you identify yourself, your needs, your wants, who you are, your personality, you know, how you express yourself? You know, this could be a very difficult placement. And the first house is all about your identity, who you are. So Neptune makes that very hard by making you blend in with so many other people. And it does lead to no identity, okay? So definitely understand who you are with this placement because it could be a very um, strong challenge. And this leads to me with Neptune, the first house people are very 
psychic, intuitive, empathic, okay? Um, very emotionally sensitive. And again, when I say about this no identity issue, it's because of all of that energy that they have, okay? When you have Neptune in the first house, you're going to embody Neptune energy. And Neptune is all about being intuitive, being emotionally intuitive and in tune with other people, being psychic, feeling other people's energies, being very empathic, being very compassionate. So Neptune in the first house people, they feel other people's energies very easily. They're very empathic um, to other people. Um, um, very um, intuitive. They in tune with other people's feelings and emotions. And again, because they're tuning in with other people's emotions and feelings, it's hard for them to tune into themselves, okay? Because they're tuning into everyone else, but it's hard for them to tune into themselves. And again, amazing gifts, amazing psychic gifts, great emotional, intuitive um, energy, but all of that makes it hard for them to understand who they are in tune with themselves because they're blending and feeling so many people's energies okay um i have this placement neptune in the first house so i definitely understand its energy um but you know these psychic gifts that you have this intuitive energy this emotional intelligence and abilities that you have are very great very powerful makes you a strong mediator or a spiritualist or someone who can heal other people but and very compassionate but again picking back into the other points i made it makes you very hard to care for yourself and identify with yourself and understand what you want okay because you're so distracted channeling and being in tune and sinking into everybody else's energies and vibes okay so definitely a gift and a curse you know no gift comes without a curse so like I said, yes, um, Neptune first house people, very psychic, very intuitive, very empathic, okay, very emotionally intelligent um, or, or emotionally intuitive, okay, because it doesn't necessarily mean you're intelligent just because you have psychic intuitive gifts. Um, but very intuitive, but again, all those energies can distract you from tuning in with yourself and understanding who you are. Also, with Neptune in the first house, these people are creatives, okay? Very artistic, very creative, okay? Neptune is the house of creativity. It rules the imagination, okay? How we dream and create our ideas. It's all creativity in the most genuine sense which is our imagination okay what we create with our minds and our feelings and emotions that are beyond this world okay so these people are very creative getting into the arts with neptune the first house could be something very easy to do because again neptune is the house um, neptune is a planet of creativity and imagination so very creative artistic gifts you know you could be a singer a dancer a painter um whatever creative arts you're interested into um this is a good um placement for that because like i said neptune people neptune the first house people very creative very have strong imaginations okay so your visions you know what you imagine what you dream about are just amazing you can imagine amazing visuals have such a creative visual vision Okay, whatever it is, you will be gifted in the creative arts, okay, definitely. And going further into that, when we talk about Neptune in the first house, the first house deals with our identity, our surface persona, what you first see. So with Neptune being here, um, Neptune in the first house people are very creative with their appearance, okay? These are people who like to dress up. Um, not all Neptune's first house people, but a lot, okay? A lot of them like to dress up. A lot of like them like to dress up in a certain character, you know? Um, Venus in the first house can be really good with fashion as well, too. Um, so can Sun in the first house. But with um, Neptune in the first house, I like to say that these people like to almost play a character. Like, they like to get into character. So they like to dress up and almost, like, tell a story with their outfits and what they wear, you know? 
you are into a lot of these people are going to be very into fashion but they're going to also have a creative touch you know they're going to tell a story with their outfit costuming you know getting into costumes dressing up all those things are very neptune in the first house and you're going to be very creative you know with your image also when we talk about the first house we're talking about your surface persona okay what people first gravitate to when they see you and that is very similar to just really speaking about your aura okay when we talk about neptune neptune is all about everything's in everything's allowed no discrimination so with neptune the first house people your aura when people see your energy that you radiate it's a very open energy naturally you don't really have to say anything you don't really have to talk people just naturally feel like energetically you're very open which is great for like making people feel comfortable you know having company but um this can also be a challenge too because a lot of people can take advantage of you as a neptune first house person people can feel like you know they can just take whatever they want from you because you're just an open book and you're just so open and nice and people are gonna you know might take advantage of you might feel like they can say whatever they want to you might feel like they can use whatever they want to use from you might feel like your energy and your existence is calling them to for them to take something from you for you to be used it's because you're such an open energy so um there's a vulnerability with neptune in the first house because again like your image your surface persona the aura it is such an open one you know you naturally make people feel so comfortable and open with you and again it can backfire because there's no protection so again people can it can be good it's nice and comforting like that's great for like a psychologist or someone who's helping but people can assume you're the help and you know you know people can take advantage of you and feel like you're just an open book and everything's free and that's why it's very important for neptune the first house people to protect your energy protect your energy especially with neptune being in the first house this is the forefront this is what people see so it's like energetically people just see you as like some like like a free-for-all like you know you're just easy like you you could be used um you could be taken advantage of um people can see you as you know someone they can use to solve their issues or their problems or you know someone that you could just ask for anything like neptune's first house people you have to be careful with your energy because you won't even do it on purpose it's just literally your presence and your aura people just feel like you're easy to to use and people will take advantage of that you know um so be careful with that and understand that you have a responsibility to protect your energy and to guard it because really with neptune here you really have no guard this is why people are so comfortable with you and it can be positive like i said people can converse with you conversate with you but it could be people pushing your boundaries because you have none okay so definitely be very careful neptune first house people you need to really protect yourself in your boundaries because you got your neptune energy at the first house right there in the forefront for everyone to see so there's no boundaries here and people will try to take advantage so definitely protect yourself and be hyper conscious of that because um i would even go as far as it's hard for neptune first house people to protect themselves because they're so unaware you know they're so in tune with everyone else's energies and emotions they're not in tune with themselves so they're not understanding their boundaries and that to and that they have to protect themselves and again like i said with neptune the first house is not just a personality it's an aura you know that's strong it's one thing to act a certain way it's another thing to just present yourself in that way so you might have boundaries but just because you got that neptune the first house you know people don't even see that that's not the energy you bring out there so you definitely got to protect yourself neptune the first house people also with neptune in the first house there's a lot of escapism okay body escapism i say because you know the first house deals with our body our physical bodies and neptune deals with escapism okay wanting to escape okay wanting to go into your imaginary world wanting to be in your dreams okay so 
body escapism that's like dreaming sleeping daydreaming you know your body kind of going into a trance you know resting your body you know just escaping all the physical harsh realities of physical reality um so neptune in the first house you definitely love rest okay and even if it's not rest you know maybe you have i don't know um insomnia but you love escaping you love going into your imagination you can even love drugs and psychedelics okay um be careful with that you know because the escapism is very strong here neptune's in your first house so this is the energy you identify with so it's easy for these people to you know get into habits you know like drugs or psychedelics or anything um to get that escape factor okay um but even more than that even if it isn't drugs you know you could like sleeping a lot you can daydream a lot you know um and again that's the first house being your body neptune being escapism and it's kind of like i just feel like this placement you like to escape the harsh reality of physical life um, especially when it comes to your body you know our bodies are physical we feel our bodies we move them and these people can love dissociating from their bodies dissociating from the like you know like you just get numb you don't feel your body too much you know how uh, when you get into drugs and you kind of feel like an outer body experience this is the thing so neptune first house people be careful with the escapism um, it definitely can lead, lead into, you know, um, substance abuse. Um, but it can also just be like, you know, you like to sleep, you know, you like to daydream. You like to just rest and give your body a break, okay? Um, but it definitely can lead into substance abuse as well. So definitely be very mindful of that because you love escapism. You love being, you know, in your own little imaginating world and sometimes... Being in reality, hardcore reality, where you got to wake up, be physical, and deal with all the aggressiveness could be harsh on, you know, a Neptune first house person. You guys understand Neptune, the first house, that creates a sensitive body, a very sensitive body. Like I said in the beginning, you know, you can rash easily, you can bruise easily. So just reality in general, movement, action, all of that stuff can be so harsh for you and so much... It just be, feels so like too much, you know, with Neptune, you just want to feel light, you know, like like an outer body experience. So there's a lot of wanting to escape, you know, the body and escape all the physical experience and kind of just be a spirit moving around. <laughs> I don't know if that even makes sense, but escapism, body escapism is definitely a big thing here. Um, and speaking about body, um, in the first house can explain your movements and how you move physically so having neptune here you could be very kind of ditzy almost clumsy um it, it could it can manifest in a good way because you're very fluid but it can manifest in a way where you're you know kind of dizzy ish you know maybe you get dizzy easily maybe you trip around and fall around sometimes uh, maybe you're kind of loopy, you know, maybe you're a little bit lazy and lackluster with your movement because you don't really feel like using so much energy, okay? <laughs> so, you know, there's definitely a little bit of clumsy, ditzy, dizzy type of body energy movement. But this could be also great for dance, okay? Because, you know, while you're a little bit lazy, you know, in terms of your movement, when it comes to something creative, when it comes to using your body in a creative way, first house being your body, Neptune being creativity, when you use it in a creative way, like dance, it's like, wow, you know, Neptune, first house people, I love to use um, dance as an example as a great way for them to express themselves in their, their body energy, because we're talking about the first house is body energy. Um, dance is great because this is creative movement. This is fluid movement um and creative movement is so good for neptune the first house so this can manifest a really good dancer okay dancing is a you know they could do anything you know neptune the first house they could be creative at anything you could be an artist you can be you know whatever you could be a painter a sculptor you could do whatever but dancing you know especially when you're mixing that creative energy with the first house your body 
dancing is such a great form uh, for them to express themselves, okay? And even in Neptune the first house, even if you're not a good dancer, say you have two left feet, you know, as a Neptune first house person, um, you can still just be naturally very sensitive to music, okay? So you might not be a good dancer, but in, as soon as you hear like music, you just you can't help but to move your body because you're so sensitive to those vibrations you know kind of our music in the body sense so you know as soon as you hear the beat drop you're automatically dancing whether you're a good at good dancer or not you're automatically dancing because you're so sensitive and in tune with energy and music is that so dancing is definitely a good um creative um art uh, uh, art form for neptune and first house people to be in because so much of your creativity is in your physical body so you guys can naturally be good dancers naturally very fluid with music or just so or you just can't resist music as soon as you hear it you're so sensitive to it you just want to start moving and vibing with it also with neptune the first house um going to the um escapism Drugs and psychedelics can definitely be a big thing um, because this is something Neptune rules. Neptune rules psychedelics and escapism in general. And because it's in the first house, this is something that you identify with. So it could be, you know, getting into those alternative um, um, feelings when you take drugs can be something you identify with you know that is your personality to be loopy to be a little drunk to be a little high to be you know in that you know in that feeling and because you identify with it it can easily become an addiction you could see it as your personality to you know get high or get drunk or whatever type of um, substance you're using to escape so definitely be careful of that because the addiction to drugs can be strong with this placement. Not everyone is, but it can be, it could be. Also with Neptune the first house, um, one thing I understand is that with Neptune the first house, you can almost play out like a mirror, okay? Because you're so in tune with other people's energies, you could be a reflection of people's energies, of people's vibrations. I realized that with Neptune in the first house. So even like we talked about, your first house could just be your aura. Um, you could kind of reflect someone's energy based off of your presence. And it could be intrusive um, or shocking to people, you know, that you're so in tune with them. People can see their energies or their and you. Basically, like you're a mirror reflecting people. So your presence, your aura, when you talk to people, when you come in contact with people, they can feel their energy within you, like almost like you're reflecting their energy. Okay, and this could be a good thing, you know, because people can connect to you, relate with you. Again, like I said, Neptune, the first house, it's an open energy, so people feel very comfortable with you. Or it could be an issue because sometimes people don't want their energies reflecting on other people they can have secrets they can have insecurities so you could be reflecting an insecurity in a person uh, okay you could look at a person they look at you and for some reason they feel like you're telling their secrets or you're reflecting a part of them that they don't want to see and they can have a problem with you you know be careful with that because um it could be interesting it could be good like i said open energy people feel comfortable with you people identify with you but sometimes you're reflecting an insecurity in someone sometimes you're reflecting something someone doesn't want to see okay and it could be very uncomfortable with people you know neptune energy isn't just imagination positivity it could be your nightmares you know your deep subconscious energies so you could be reflecting insecure things about people and vulnerable things about people and people can feel very uncomfortable with your energy and your presence because they're seeing their issues in you so you're like a reflector like that so be careful because people could get mad at you and hate on you and you didn't even do anything you know as a neptune the first house person you're like wondering like what did i do did i even offend anyone and it's because of your energy, your psychic abilities, your your ability to tune with people. You can reflect um, people so much and everyone is uncomfortable with their reflection. You're not always reflecting the positive aspects. You can also definitely reflect the negative aspects of a person. So 
be very aware with that that you are a reflection of other people's energies okay and that's a powerful thing and it can be very positive and very negative as well too okay so yes that's neptune the first house <laughs> Um, I have this placement, very beautiful placement. I love it. I think it's powerful. It's psychic. It's magical. It's an amazing placement, but it's also very challenging. Understand your boundaries, Neptune First House people. You need to respect your boundaries. You need to understand who you are. You need to identify with yourself, okay, and protect yourself because people will take advantage of you. But this is such a psychic, gifted place, you know, to have Neptune in your first house. You're really embodying Neptune's powers and energies, and Neptune is the uh, the planet of magic. So it's a very magical, powerful um, energy. So yes i hope you guys enjoyed that that is neptune the first house and if you did you know book a reading with me you can book a reading with me at sam astral readings at gmail.com email me and we could go forward with that also check out my music my videos all of those um links will be in the description box below and i'll check you guys out on the next video